All around, you witness goodwill gestures. It could be as simple as a smile and wave or opening a door for someone. In Lake Tomahawk, it's making a pie. I made a pretzel crust with uh, butter and sugar, flour for the thickening. Just want to make the pies look nice. Snowshoe baseball has been entertaining crowds since the 1960s. But over at the concession stand, the pie takes center stage. Strawberry rhubarb, banana butterscotch pie, blueberry pie, a rocky road, coconut cream. I like making ones that I think will appeal to the crowd. I try not to eat as many as I make. We make our pies and bring them to the Snowshoe Baseball where all can enjoy. Each week, a different service club's in charge of the snack shack and in turn takes home the proceeds. Local pie makers, a lot of local pie makers, bake their best pies and donate them to support the cause. You get involved in it over the years and it just becomes your way of life on Monday. Carly and I sit down and we kind of look through the pies and decide which looks good and it's just whatever sparks our interests and makes that, hmm, <laughs> what's, what's so good? It's something that I enjoy doing and then I have developed new friendships as a result of the pie making. It's a wonderful thing and it brings people together. On an average night, they sell 80 pies. Each one is cut into six pieces. The price is right, $2 a slice. That means making almost $1,000 is easy as pie. Thank, Thank you very much. This is the only place you get your dessert first before you get your food. There's a pie line that's a half a block long. There are people that just come for pies. I do it because I enjoy seeing other people enjoy my baking. It was a great honor and pleasure, and I've been doing it for quite a few years now. No matter how you slice it, everyone benefits from this unique fundraiser. It's an easy fundraiser for people just to whip together a pie real quick. It is unique and different, and um, which makes Lake Tomahawk special. It's a very good fundraiser for the community, who in turn give it all back. So it's kind of a domino effect, you know. If you think this is a lot of pies, the team's requested that the bakers provide double for this Friday. They're hoping to have more than 200 pies on hand for the Snowhawks game versus the Wounded Warriors. But before then, it's time for me to enjoy my little slice of heaven. We're covering the news in Lake Tomahawk. Marissa Silvis, News Watch 12.